Time control is one, if not the best feature in video game history. But why do most games limit time control when you could go beyond? So how does time control work? Speeding up time is actually pretty easy. You just have to go to the video settings and select this. I bet you didn't see the panda. But back to time control. Speeding up time in a game is pretty intuitive. If you're going to go twice as fast, you just double the function calls and give it to the next person. And if you do this often enough, you will even experience a thing called being a AAA game developer. Nowadays, a lot of bigger studios don't care about performance anymore and just say that you may need to upgrade your PC. But I am a small indie, so I can't do that. Increasing the performance is pretty simple. Instead of calling the function twice, I just call the function twice as fast. But what does that mean? Well, this is a lie. There is no movement in video games. Similar to a flipbook, everything is just moved by a tiny fraction to look like movement. And if I simply take out a few pages, the flipbook looks like it's moving faster, even though I didn't have to draw any new pages. So if I move everything in my game just by a tiny fraction further, the performance still stays the same. Meaning that for your computer, time is still normal, but cars are now driving at race car speeds from school zones. But what's the limit for speeding up time? Well, let's test it out. Free time speed is boring, so let's directly jump to 20 times faster. And this is where the fun begins. But we are still at the beginning. At 50 times speed, the cars are going so fast that they all face into each other at the intersections. But at 100 times speed, it doesn't matter anymore, because the cars are probably driving too fast to even notice a red light. At 500 times, they look like they're starting to teleport, but we can still go a lot faster. Double that and now the streets are looking like they're nearly empty because the cars are going so fast. And finally, at 10,000 times speed, everyone is just teleporting directly to the destination, which looks absolutely crazy. And it's even starting to lag. But Alex, haven't you said that it shouldn't lag? No. At 10,000 times speed, every single person of these 500 will go through their entire path at once. Sure, there's definitely some room left for improvement, but even with that, there is a point where even the best CPU would crumble. And now go back to your basement. Okay. Oh, by the way, if you're new here, my game Chaos Cities is a city builder where your citizens directly react to everything you do. Build a futuristic city or plunge it into chaos. The choice is yours. And if that seems interesting to you, check out my newly updated Steam page with lots of cool slogans, slogans, pictures, pictures, and these awesome buttons where you can even wishlist, wishlist, wish and follow my game, which helps me out a lot to be in favor of the great Steam overlords. Satan. But let's go back and see how the people are doing. Seeing everything sped up made me remember this slow motion effect from the cyberpunk anime that happened every time when the main character is moving super fast. So I wanted to implement that, which was for a change pretty easy. You basically just copy the NPC in time and then change the color a little bit. And that was extremely easy and looks really cool. And even works with every animation. But it's also kinda dumb and not really important for the game at all. So if you're wondering why my videos take so long, this is the reason. Oh, and also the bugs of course. Okay, back to the game. Now that I have time slowing down, how do I actually stop time? Well, you just go to the video settings and press the... So you know with flipbooks here, <laughs> nah, you just don't call the function. And I've got news for you. Uh, literally, I want to make a new system. You're probably not always going to pay attention to every corner of your city. So hearing about the most important happenings in your town is probably really important. I want to build a new system similar to Plague Inc. Where you have some day-to-day -day news, some event news and in my case some alarm news if the demands of your citizens aren't met. First I designed a logo that would get the people's attention. And then I created some background windows for the news. 
Luckily, I already have a lot of event news from the protest that I could use. In the last devlog, I asked you guys if you have any idea for font protests or just signs, let me know them in the comments below. And on YouTube, you delivered. I've added all your awesome ideas, ranging from people worshipping the cursor to demanding higher taxes. I can't thank you guys enough for all your creative comments. Thanks a lot. And in return, I will do this. But only once for now. <clears throat> a cat is stuck in a tree. A local cat got up in a local tree and won't go down anymore. Locals say the cat is 1.7 meters big and screams meow, meow, meow. Help! Meow. Locals have tried to rescue the cat, but every time it's approached it screams Ooh and hisses. <laughs> For the other news types, I've only come up with a few headlines for now. So if you have more ideas for news, write them in the comments down below and I might add them to the game. After the news, the only thing that was left was to make this game actually playable, which were quite a few things that I had to do. And that's why I'm gonna speed up the next part. So if you're interested, change the playback speed to 25%. You have time until 3, 2, 1. Go. So, yes, communism is kind of a best threat at the moment. And now that the game is finally nearly playable, I asked some people to give me their first impressions. And I am very happy to show you their extremely positive reactions. This is by far the best game I've ever seen. I really hope you do not let people play Chaos Sweeties. I swear to God. Honestly, the best thing would be to just sell this dude. I really hope you do not and just burn your PC and just quit. Bye and please me again. Yes, Chaos City was the best play game I've ever played. It was so much fun. You definitely want to wish this you don't see. Can you let my family go please? I, I only dislike your... Own While I was already at Sorry. IKEA, I decided to get myself the one item that every game developer needs. Oh, not this. That's just for a little side project of mine. What I wanted to get is a blue high. A lot of you have complained about my sparse upload schedule and a blue high is the best programming companion that will definitely help me with that. Finally, I found myself a perfect blue high. So get ready for more frequent videos appearing every... Bye bye Ikea. After coming home, I was pretty hungry because the IKEA restaurant was closed. And then I remembered that currently people in my game can't fall deeply asleep if they haven't eaten in years. So I changed that. But don't worry, that person is totally fine. For unrelated reasons, I added a farm that generates food after all the crops are grown. In the future, I want to add more farm types that can also influence how healthy your citizens are. But luckily, now no one needs to starve. Wait, why did that happen now? Farmers are now using jet fuel as fertilizer. Oh. Well, I think it's been a while since I said this, but education does also affect your city immensely. So don't forget to send your kids to school and give them books on quantum physics or something. Um, I think I need to implement an ambulance for the next video. Bye.